Hi there, my name is Miss Lisa, and we are at the Fayette County Public Library today with Quarantine Cooking. Today is Pickle Week. I have this ginormous can of pickles. We all love dill pickles in the summer. So I am going to show you two tasty appetizers today. One with a cold pickle and one with a fried pickle. All right, so let's get started with our cold pickle. We are gonna do a pickle roll up. All you need is a dry pickle and some ham or turkey and some cream cheese. So let's go ahead and get a pickle out of this jar and we're gonna set it aside on a paper towel so it will dry. I'm gonna get one out for later so it can start to dry. We want them dry. All right. So there's our pickle. And you're gonna want either ham or turkey. The thinner slices work best. So we are just going to take out two pieces of, and I have turkey today. So I'm gonna lay out two pieces of turkey and they're gonna overlap just a little bit. And then you need some cream cheese and so make sure your cream cheese is at room temperature. And you're gonna take your cream cheese and you're just going to spread it out on the turkey. Okay, so you're gonna to want to get enough cream cheese, spread it out on the turkey, and then we're simply gonna put the pickle inside and we're gonna roll it up and you're gonna have a bite-sized snack. All right, it's a little uncooperative here. Just hold it down and spread that cream cheese out. All right, there we go. Now your pickle needs to be really dry, so make sure that you squeeze it well in a paper towel so that it will stick to the cream cheese. So now we're just gonna lay our pickle right in here. We're gonna take our turkey and we're gonna roll it up. Okay, and that's all you have to do is just roll that pickle inside there. And then in order to serve it to your friends and your family, you are just going to cut it into little bites like this. And they are oh so delicious. Now you might wanna put them in the refrigerator for a few minutes to let them get really cold. If you want to put them on a plate, lay them flat like this and they look oh so pretty. And your family and friends could come by and just grab a pickle bite and they'll enjoy it tremendously. So that is our cold pickle appetizer. Now what if your friends like fried food? You can make a fried pickle. So again, we're gonna take our nice dried pickle. I need to have it dry. Okay, and I'm gonna cut it into pieces. And if you go to the store and you want to buy pickle slices that are already sliced, you can do that too. But you just want about a centimeter or so little pickle bites and just cut your pickle up. All right, that's our very first step. Now, you also need to have some hot oil. I have already turned mine on. It's at 350 degrees. Try not to go any hotter than that because you don't want it to burn when you put it in the oil. Now, we need to make a batter and then... Um, you also need some breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour some breadcrumbs in one of my bowl stations here. And then we're gonna mix up the batter that we're gonna put our pickles in. You need about one half to three fourths of flour. Now I've already put a shake of salt and a shake of pepper here in my flour. So we're gonna put that in our bowl. And now we are making today some spicy fried pickles. So I have all different seasonings. We're gonna put just a shake of onion in there. Ooh, there we go. We're gonna put a shake of garlic in there. Now if are any of these seasonings you don't like, just leave them out, it's as simple as that. We also are going to put a shake of paprika in the mix. And you also need half a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, so there's our 
fried mixture. Just mix all of those spices together in with the flour. And then we need to add an egg. Okay. And then enough milk, about a half a cup or so, to make it so that it looks like pancake batter. Okay, so we're gonna stir that up. You don't want it too runny. You wanna be able to coat your pickles with this batter. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, all those spices in there will taste very delicious on our fried pickle. Okay. If you have tongs or maybe a fork, that might work too, but I'm gonna use some tongs today. I'm gonna take my pickle and I'm gonna lay it in that batter and flip it over. And then we're gonna put it in the breadcrumbs and flip it over. Okay, the more breadcrumbs you put on there, the crunchy it's going to be. Then we're going to lay it on a plate for a minute to let it all soak in. So let's go ahead and coat this whole pickle. And then we're going to simply fry it up. All right. Now, when you want to serve your pickles, a lot of people like to use the ranch dressing, which I have over here. So you can have ranch dressing, or if you like other types of dressing, you can use that too. All right, let me go ahead and get another pickle or two. All coated up here, and then we will fry them. Fried foods are really not that difficult, as long as you have the ingredients to coat them, coat your food with it. All right. Let's just go ahead and do one more. And again, we're gonna coat it with that batter which has all those spices in it. And we're gonna put it in the breadcrumbs. Okay, more breadcrumbs, the crunchier it will be. All right. So the reason we left them on the plate for just a little bit was to allow all those spices to soak into the pickle. All right. Now we take our fried, we take our pickles that are battered up. We're gonna put them in the fryer. And you can do this in the electric frying pan. You can do it on the stove top. As long as you have some grease that is cooking at about 350 degrees. And it doesn't take very long. You just want to cook them a little bit on one side and then flip them over until they're nice and brown. Now, since you are cooking in oil, when you pull them out, they will be a little greasy, so you're gonna want to get a plate ready with some paper towels to be able to put them on. Okay, so I've got my plate ready, and they are looking delicious. Nice and brown. Not burnt at all. Look at those. All right, so we're just gonna pull them out. We're gonna put them on our paper toweling so they can soak up. And then if you've got your ranch ready or whatever kind of sauce you want to dip them in, your family will enjoy a delicious fried pickle snack. Look at those, aren't they looking delicious? All right, folks, this week was Pickle Week. And we did a cold appetizer, we did a pickle roll up, and we did a fried pickle today. I hope that you enjoyed this quick little demonstration. Um, if you decide to make some or have other pickle ideas, please put some comments in the comment area so that we can know what you do at your home. All right, folks, I'll see you again next Friday at 2 o'clock for another Quarantine Cooking. Bye.